What is up, everybody out there in HeroClix land? This once again is Scott Porter back for the fifth and final day of our HeroClix unboxing series for the brand new Marvel HeroClix Disney Plus set. And so we've come, the time is near to draw the final curtain. Um, you know, it's just, it's been a fun unboxing series so far. We've gotten so many different characters uh, that are just presented so differently from anything we've seen before. The, the Disney Plus take on a lot of these characters is really awesome. And of, tor of course, the continuation of the MCU uh, is great. But even those characters we have seen kind of turned on their head a little bit. Um, the Loki series was full of surprises. WandaVision was the same. And, uh, you know, it's just with the addition of What If, now we really just unlock the floodgates of, of having just brand new takes on a ton of characters uh, that we know and love but are seeing in a different light for the first time ever. And this set has delivered on all of that in spades. I think it's been a really, really cool set. Some highlight pieces for me so far. I, I do think that U.S. Agent Prime is really great. Um, but seeing the different takes, like the, the Halloween Night Spooktacular family from WandaVision, those pieces are begging to be played together. And everybody's got shape change, everybody's healing, everybody's helping each other. And uh, it seems just like a really cool, fun sub-theme. And so those pieces really stand out to me. Uh, some of the pieces, uh, you know, like from Loki, the, the TVA, I, I want to see them a little bit more. I want to see them fleshed out just a little bit more, but they have some synergy between them as well. Uh, and I want to see that move a little bit further. Uh, characters I want to see that I haven't seen yet are characters that are unique to that universe. Miss Minutes. I want to see Miss Minutes. I think Miss Minutes would be really cool in this. I don't know how we present her, uh, but, you know, as a, as a character from the shows that really popped, I think, uh, for me, maybe it's just because Tara Strong was the voice and, and everything she does is, is awesome, but... Uh, but, you know, just going down the list of, of characters that I'd like to see, I think Miss Manitz is definitely up there. But there are so many. We haven't seen a Flag Smasher at all. I thought maybe they would even be generics, like Super Soldier Serum generics. I thought that would be pretty cool, but we haven't seen them. Uh, we know that, uh, let's see, the Primes, uh, Sharon Carter, I think is going to have one of the Primes. I think Power Broker is probably going to come into play there. And again, if we had, like, Flag Smasher... Uh, kind of generics to go along with Power Broker. I, that would have been a really cool thing. But outside of that, I'm, I'm not missing much, if anything. I'm just excited to see what we get in this final day. So without further ado, let's just get cracking. Boom. All right. Uh, as far as the outside of the box, we haven't seen a single Bucky yet. Um, Winter Soldier, mind you. We've seen, I think, everything else on the outside of this box. We haven't seen the... Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme uh, out of the boosters yet. We saw it from the miniatures game, and that was very cool. But outside of that, we've seen everything on the outside of the box here, with the exception of the back. All right. Um, that's, uh, that's not normal. <laughs> that is a blue. That's a blue. Yeah, no, everything else has been clear. Um, been playing this game a long time, and the only time they ever have a different color tray is uh, is when it's uh, something very special. So I'm gonna. Oh man, do I open this right now? Um, at, at the risk of being wrong and having this last booster be a dud, I'm gonna set that to the side. <laughs> Because if it is what I think it is, then, uh, yeah, um, it would not be normal. Uh, it would not be something I have seen in a very long time. As a matter of fact, I've never pulled one of them if it is what I think it is. Uh, I'm going to open this other booster first, so booster number nine. Uh, and let's see. Yes! Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> we... So we got we got a chase. We got a chase, and the chase is the collector. Uh, that is awesome. We also, and this is the reason I got most excited until I saw the blue base. Look at the blue base on that guy. That's crazy. Uh, but then I, I, the first thing my eyes went to was uh, Pietro Maximoff. Uh, that's awesome. The fact that they brought Evan Peters in to play 
That character was so sick. Uh, I absolutely loved it. Um, I love their, they're just, they're trying to integrate all of this Marvel stuff, grab this great stuff across all of these different, you know, places and, and bring it all together and, and, and really join it into one succinct universe. And I think it's so cool. There's our first Winter Soldier. So we got Bucky, who we hadn't seen on the out, uh, inside the box from the, uh, from the outside of the booster. And then, uh, and then we got T'Challa, Star-Lord. And I think that might be a different one than we pulled earlier, because I think the one we pulled earlier had the, the mask on. He does. He has the Star-Lord, like the Wakandan version of the Star-Lord mask on. So uh, that's brand new. So this entire pack outside of Darcy uh, Lewis is, is fresh. That's a fresh pack. That's brand new. So that's awesome. So we pulled the chase. I think uh, the other booster might not be what I thought it was then, because there's no way I get a chase. Um, so yeah, no. Okay, uh, Winter Soldier, Darcy we've already seen. So let's, yeah, let's go with Bucky first. Winter Soldier, pretty cut and dry, right? Usually, uh, you know what you're getting. You're getting some good stuff from range, some good stuff from up close. You got Avengers, Wakanda, Soldier. What are you, some kind of white tiger? Actually, no, it's white wolf. That's, a, that's what he says, I think, in the show. Uh, set number six, still having nightmares, means I still remember combat reflexes and leap climb as a trait. Where's the shoot? Once per turn, when Winter Soldier is placed after resolutions, you may give an action token to an adjacent opposing character. Uh, I don't need it anyway. That continues that line. Uh, let's see. He's got six range, running shot, of course. He's got that special attack power in there where he can be tokening people as he, as he gets placed around the board. Boom. Precision strike. Great. This is from uh, The Star-Spangled Man, the episode The Star-Spangled Man. Okay, great. Bucky, love you. You're not the star of this pack. Let's get him out of here. Okay. I mean, really, you're, you're awesome, dude. You're really great, but, I mean, you know, we got to move on. Uh, all right, let's go with T'Challa Star-Lord next. All right, T'Challa Star-Lord, take a look at the card here. And like I said, the one that's different about this one is he does not have the mask on. You can see his face here. Okay, he's got Guardians of the Galaxy, Ravagers, Wakanda, and Pirate. Let me introduce you to the family I made along the way is his trait. When establishing themed teams, characters on your starting force with the minions of Thanos, Ravagers, or Wakanda keyword, gain the Guardians of the Galaxy keyword. Oh, okay. That's cool. Wakanda joining the Guardians of the Galaxy. Everybody helps with that theme bonus. You got Wakandan born, Ravager trained, energy shield deflection, and super senses as a special defense power. Take a look at the back of his card. Comes in at 100 or 40. So that's what I was looking for earlier. I think I told you I thought we were, I thought we might get a beefier version of a Star Lord. And there you go at 100. 10 movement, 12 attack with running shot. Ooh, is that Nova Blast? What? Nova Blast back on the board, folks. Uh, the special power there. You've got Outwit. Oh, he's got Outwit and Nova Blast can running shot into, not Nova Blast, Pulse Wave. Pulse Wave. What am I saying, Nova Blast? I just got so excited that my brain was like, I haven't seen that on a dial in such a long time. So Pulse Wave confirmed. Let's go. Um, yeah, that's a pretty sick dial. That's great. Okay, Pietro Maximoff. I've talked about this a lot in the unboxing series. I was so excited that they pulled that move. Uh, you can see the real name there is Ralph Bonner. That's actually a neighbor in Westview, but made her think that it was, uh, made Wanda think that it was her brother. Uh, I love, again, the all new Halloween spook tackler. You can see he's in gym shorts with some leggings on underneath it, a t shirt with another shirt on underneath it. And they tell that story through the sculpt and the paint job, and it's really, really great that they can do that now. Uh, just like everybody else from the all-new Halloween Spectacular, this Pietro Maximoff has shape change, and when Pietro Maximoff uses it and succeeds, heal him one click. He's got, he comes in at uh, he's set number 38. Uh, he's got Silly String, The Neighborhood, Hypersonic Speed. When Pietro Maximoff uses it, after resolutions, roll a d6. On a roll of four to six, give an action token to each opposing character he moved adjacent to during the action. Man, he can token a bunch of folks just seeing, uh, you know, how much movement he has on the back of the card here. 
I do love that he has uh, sweet costume bro ham and law. Let me guess. Uh, traffic light? Uh, half shucked corn? Uh, booger? <laughs> this is the costume he's talking about in all of that color there. That's great. Uh, well done. Well done. Uh, he also has a stop click. Please stand by, just like everybody else in WandaVision. And boom, there we go. 11 movement. 11 movement with the possibility of 50-50 chance of tokening every other opposing figure he moved adjacent to. Uh, that is pretty awesome. Well done. Okay, so I said before the unboxing started, right, when we looked at the back of the boosters and we saw Ultron with the Infinity Gems, I said maybe... Uh, maybe the chases are like the big bads from all of the what if episodes or from the just like whatever We haven't seen flag smasher yet. So that's still in play. I think right like maybe the big bads from all of the series although we we have We have Agnes, so I don't know but Collector is definitely a big bad. He takes Thanos's place. There's a power void Thanos uh, is, is not a bad guy anymore Black Panther talked him off the ledge Black Panther Star Lord talked him off the ledge and Collector kind of stepped in and built like this, you know, this empire underneath him. So he's the big bad of the what if T'Challa became Star-Lord episode. And here he is in all of his glory by himself. We'll get a little close up of the chase because, you know, I, I think it's only fitting. Looks great. Definitely has that Benicio Del Toro feel though. That silly little flavor saver, that silly little soul patch that he has. Uh, but the robe, the draping on it, everything's great. And uh, yeah, like I said, like the Black Order is with him. So, you know, there's a lot going on with that collector. Uh, he has, as we take a look at his card, Elders of the Universe and Cosmic Keywords. He's set number 52. So our, our, our chases are, are already down there at 52. Uh, of course, if that's not your style as a trait, if you have at least one character of each rarity of common, uncommon, rare, and super rare on your force, friendly characters modify attack by plus one. That's so cool. That's such like a, a, a meta nod, a fourth wall breaking kind of nod to how we do uh, things in the game. That's awesome. And it's a blast from the past because we don't really care about rookie, uh, you know, or experienced or veteran anymore, but we do still care about common, uncommon, rare, and super rare. That's awesome. Also, another trait, there's plenty more with that we can play with. At the beginning of the game, if each character on your starting force is from a different hero click set, as long as the collector is on the map, friendly characters modify damage by plus one. That's awesome. So if you have at least one of each rarity, and they're all from different sets, you're getting a plus one attack and plus one uh, damage throughout your entire team. That is cool. What kind of being leaves a party without saying goodbye is a special defense power, and that is a stop click with super senses. Let's see how many stop clicks he actually has and what he rings in at. Oh, he's only, wait a minute, he's only 25 points? Holy crap. He's got perplex. If you build your team correctly, for 25 points, you can have team-wide plus one attack, team-wide plus one damage. I mean, this is going to be a team builder's dream and a nightmare for people who don't love team building. But for somebody like me who nerds out about team building, like to go and figure out what I can run that's on theme but from different sets, how do I get that bonus? But you're only paying 25 points for it, and he's got Perplex. He's got phasing, you can get around the map pretty easily. Um, yeah, I didn't expect him to be only 25 points. That's nuts. That is nuts. Oh, friendly characters modify attack by plus one. Friendly characters modify damage by plus one. I mean, that's huge, man. 25 points for plus one to attack and plus one to damage team-wide. Team-wide. And if you build a swarm squad, which I like to do, like if you build a swarm team, which you've got plenty of points to do, Right? In a typical 300 point game, you still got 275 points to build. They're all from, oh, that's, he's, he's dope. That's awesome. That's very cool. Okay, so I don't know what's up with this last one then. The reason I stopped, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I open this up, right, it's blue. 
it's not clear. The tray is blue. Um, in the past, if you've gotten a colored tray, it is... <laughs> Okay, guys, I want to I want to I want to say this and make sure that everybody this this booster this brick not a normal brick. Th this is not. I mean, this exists in the wild, I suppose now, uh, because it has in the past. Um, I've heard tales. I've heard stories of of God packs, and that is what we have here. And I think God packs can come with just the normal assortment of other things that you would get. Um, anyway, I think, I mean, there's just blue dials everywhere in here. So, um, <laughs> this is nuts. So we're gonna find out what a lot of the chases are, guys. But again, the rarity on this is is massive. This is not, this is not normal. I wanna say that out loud. Uh, and I'm sure that, that WizKids would want me to share that too. This is, I think this is, I, they must have known they were sending me a God pack. I don't think this is like <laughs> completely random. But that being said, if they didn't know, then I just got like crazy lucky. But this particular brick, I just want to share that. But that being said, God packs were around a long time ago. And uh, I haven't seen one in quite some time. But here we go. We've got Gamora, daughter of Thanos. We've got Ultron Infinity. We've got, oh, this is awesome. Oh, yes. We've got the Loki, the frost giant Loki from Party Thor. Um, we've got, oh, yes. Okay. Um, this is nuts. Uh, if this is what I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, Oh, bubble wrap defeated me once again. Sorry guys. Bubble wrap defeating me. Couldn't get it off of there. Yeah, this is a uh, Sicarian Iron Man. Yo, that's wicked. That's wicked. And then um oh, inside here, um we also have uh oh, Captain Carter's shield came in this and then Oh shoot. Okay. Super rare prime. So instead of so normally, I think five chases in a, oh man, I'm so confused. Uh, usually like five chases in a, uh, in, a, in a god pack, but we got five chases in the brick. So like in effect, a god pack, right? All chases in like one pack, one booster. Uh, but we also got the Peggy Carter Prime, which is our second prime. Um, oh man, I am, I, I don't know what this, this is a brick unlike any brick I've ever seen in my life. Um, if WizKids, thank you for sending them. It, just to share with everybody. Um, again, I would not go to the store expecting to have this be your brick. I think it's a possibility out there in the world. I think God Packs, God Packs are back. But, um, you know, they're going to be super, super, super rare. Keep your expectations in line with that. Just want to share that. Uh, but I am... Uh, <sighs> Usually when they want to send me extra of something, they just they send me an email and say, hey, we've got you've got your normal brick. You know, we're not sure what's inside of it or whatever, but we also wanted to send you these other figures to share with people. And uh, and, and that's only if they ever get things ahead of time enough and they have like extra stock in the offices or whatever. Uh, but this time uh, they just put it in the thing and they didn't tell me. So I'm like, like my head's like exploding here. Uh, OK, let's start with the the prime that we got in here. Okay, and, uh, and we'll take a look. And the, the Prime uh, looks different. Uh, we'll get a zoom in there. Uh, the Prime looks different than the normal Peggy Carter, right? The normal Peggy Carter uh, is, is bigger. She's standing up. But this one, super rare Peggy Carter. She's down on a knee. Okay, she's planted. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, uh, we'll take a look at her card. She looks like she's just slammed down and she looked up. And she's like, it's, it's go time now. I will take a peek at her card. Captain Carter, Howling Commando, Shield, Past, Soldier, Spy, Tinker Tailor, 41B. So we're getting a Captain Carter super rare for sure, confirmed. Trait, you have a super soldier. Me, Stealth, Captain Carter may start the game with Captain Carter's shield equipped or and or super soldier serum equipped. She may have both of these equipped at the same time, just like the Prime for U.S. agent. 
Okay, okay. Her one choice gave birth to a whole new history. There's another trait. When establishing themed teams, characters on your starting force with the soldier or spy keywords gain the shield keyword. Shield's already very strong, and she has another way to backdoor other characters into shield as well. That's awesome. Nothing this woman can't handle, invincible and willpower. You take orders from me is a special damage power. Enhancement and leadership when Captain Carter uses it and succeeds once this turn, a friendly character that has shield may use it as free. Oh, instead of having to activate the power action part of it for the stats boost there. There's the back of the card. Great stats. Comes in at 75 or 35. Like I said, uh, she's got that part of her sculpt. She can equip her shield and the super soldier serum. Very cool. Normally, uh, guys, I would be like, okay, boom, that's it. Let's go. We got a, I mean, a second prime. That's not normal. That's crazy and it's awesome and i'm so excited again to share this stuff with you let's share captain carter shields with us if you haven't seen it yet uh here's the card we've got defend if this character can already use defend adjacent friendly characters modified defense by plus one so they get the defend plus one to it that is awesome um, because i think replace and then modify is still a golden rule there so you're replacing with the defend number and then you are uh modifying with that plus one that they get in addition to. So say Captain Carter has a 19 defense and she's sharing that amongst her allies, but she's already showing defend on her dial, then everybody's rocking 20 defense outside of her. Of course, she's still gonna stick at that 19. So then she's, you're forced to attack her. And if she's got major damage reducers, then that's just not fun. So yeah, that's, that's pretty great. Okay, four chases here to go with guys. Mm. I'm going to start with Gamora, okay, daughter of Thanos. Boom. Here is her card, set number 53. Black Order, minions of Thanos, assassin, cosmic ruler, and warrior. Trait, my father's resolve. Once per turn, when Gamora, daughter of Thanos, rolls a single D6, she may re-roll it. I would need that all the time. I always roll a one on blades. Perfectly balanced is a special attack power. Blades, claws, fangs. When Gamora, daughter of Thanos, uses it, you may instead deal half the D6 result to the target. If you do heal Gamora, daughter of Thanos, or an adjacent friendly character, a number of clicks equal to the halved result. Ooh, okay. All right. A way to, to get some healing there. You know, I'm always messed up by those single die rolls, but the fact that she's got roll protection there for her uh, might come big time in handy. Ooh, 125 or 75. Look at all those stats. She's got hypersonic speed at the top of that dial. Uh, what if What if the Watcher broke his oath? Again, remember, it's, it's, it's clear that it's from an episode that we never got to see, but that they must have made, unless they'd missed the deadline. I don't know enough. Tell me in the comments down below if you know what happened to that episode or why it disappeared or whatever. But anyway, uh, that is Gamora, daughter of Thanos. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's go with uh, let's go with Sakarian Iron Man. Uh, again, um, let's get a close up of this particular sculpt just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, you can see this really cool teal blue elements on it. You can tell that he built from scrap parts on Sakaar. Just a really cool take on an Iron Man as far as the sculpt goes. I really, really like it. Uh, let's pull it back, take a look at the card here. We've got Avengers, Stark Industries, Armor, Celebrity, Scientist, and Warrior. I've worked with scraps before is a very long trait. Here we go. At the beginning of the game, you may generate up to three standard objects anywhere on the map, at least five squares from one another. When Sakarian Iron Man picks up a standard object, you may instead place it on his card if less than two objects are on his card. Sakarian Iron Man modifies his combat values by plus one for each standard object on his card, and at the beginning of your turn, may choose one standard speed or attack power for each object on his card to use until your next turn. Jeez, when Sakarian Iron Man would be dealt damage from an opponent's attack, you may remove a standard object from his card to take one unavoidable damage instead. Ugh, 
He's got the smartest man on any planet, and that's outwit and perplex. And that trait is insane. That trait is bonkers. So he can have up to three of those standard objects on his card. He's getting stats bumps for each of them that are on there. Okay. At the beginning of the turn, he can choose a standard speed and attack power for each object on his card to use until your next turn. And hypersonic speed is back in play. I mean, there are a lot of powers to choose from now. Uh, and then he can actually use them to defend himself as well. If he was going to take five clicks, he can just burn one of those, take one unavoidable click, and that's it. So if he's got those objects on his card, if you can ramp him up to that point, he is mad dangerous. Okay, let's look at the back of his card. I thought dialect was going to be an issue here, but he actually has seven clicks of it. Um, he's easy to hit, though, I would say. No natural damage reducers, so he's going to have to be pulling tokens. So the game is with him, right, what, to, to get to him before he can get objects on his card? Is that what we're doing here? And then you're burning attacks, but he's, he's only 50 points. He's only 50 points. But if you let him get three objects on there, what, now he's a 13, 13, 20, 5? I mean, you can't let him get the objects on there. Am I reading that wrong? Maybe I am. Picks up a standard object. You may instead place it on his card if less than two objects are on his card. Oh, okay. If less than two. Why would they say less than two and not just say one? Ugh, come on, guys. What are we doing? Uh, instead, place it. So we can have two, two objects on his card. So plus two, but to each, to each stat, plus two to each stat, 12, 12, 19, four. If he's got two objects on there, and then he can burn them if he needs to. And he places five of them on the board at the beginning of the game. So, or no, three. He may generate three. Um, still, pretty cool. You're definitely not going to bring objects to the board if you're his opponent, because you don't want him winding up like that. But he's definitely a high-level play character uh, or figure, but uh, I, I'm tempted to want to make him work. I, I want to try and make him work for sure. Uh, OK, moving on. That, that was a doozy, right? Uh, let's go with something that looks a little bit easier. Let's go with Loki, but let's take a look at him real quick and all of his Frost Giant glory on the little close-up here for you guys. Uh, you can see he's, still, he's rocking that blue skin. And he is bigger than most of the figures. He's not as big as I thought he was going to be. I thought we were talking like Hydra Stomper size, which he's not. I thought maybe he should be. Uh, he's clearly clearly not that big, but um, I, I thought he might be as, as being one of the Frost Giants and, and the size of him as well. But here, uh, we got Loki set number 51 as Guardian, Brute, Deity, Future, Monster, Mystical, Past, I wish, I wish is a trait. Steal energy when Loki hits after res resolutions. Give each hit character an action token. I couldn't possibly tell you it'll ruin the magic. Plasticity. Adjacent opposing characters can only clear one action token instead of two. Okay. All right. No, I didn't boom. Did you boom? You always boom. You know what they're talking about when they're saying boom, right? Uh, okay. That actually happens, that line actually happens when Captain Marvel comes flying through the air, breaks the sound barrier uh, as she's flying towards Thor. Uh, look at the back of the dial here. Impressive stats, for sure. Don't know if it's one of the better chases. Uh, I would still be tempted to try and make him work 100%. Okay, last but not least, we've got the man on the back of the box, the big bad of the entire What If series. Uh, Ultron Infinity, and it does look like it's all going to be from the animated series. All the chases seem to be to, uh, from the animated series. So, man, there's a ton of stuff out there we still didn't get, and I don't know what's going to be in the rest of this set, but I'm so impressed with everything we already have. I can't wait to see uh, what, what everybody else starts opening and when they get to start opening it. Okay, Ultron Infinity. Take a look here. You already have a pretty good sense of what he looks like because on the... Uh, on the outside of the box, you already have an extreme close above him. But I just figured I'd show you with that beautiful blue base there. And let's take a peek at his card. Ultron Infinity, set number 55. Masters of Evil, Armor, Cosmic, Robot, and Ruler. Trait, you will not stop me from doing what is necessary. Stealth, 
at the beginning of the game, each opponent must give an Infinity Gem token to six distinct characters on their starting force. Okay, each opponent has gems, and they give them to six distinct characters on their starting force. If they have less than six characters, excess tokens must be given to one or more characters. When Ultron Infinity hits one or more of the characters with an Infinity Gem token, instead of normal damage, you may choose to remove one hit character's Infinity Gem token to roll a d6 to gain mission points equal to the result. Ooh, okay. All right, so he's bounty hunting these gems, but when he hits you, he gets to roll a d6 and he can strip your gem and add the rolled amount to his mission points. Now, if you're not familiar with mission points, it's here on the back. The game ends when, after resolution of any action, a player has achieved 20 or more mission points from any source. If the game ends this way, the winner is determined by the player with the most mission points. In the case of a tie, the active player wins. So this guy is a big boon to mission point teams because he can, he can sweep six mission points at a time if he's rolling correctly. I know there's a lot uh, of of die rolls and, and RNG there, but uh, still, also his stats are insane. So he can win the regular way, or he can win doing mission points. We didn't see many mission points. I think that's the only mission point thing that we saw. Uh, but now that I know that it's in the set, I, I'm assuming we'll get two or three or maybe four more people that can utilize mission points. There you have it, folks. Holy crap, five chases on day five. That is insanity. Insanity. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, down in the comments below, tell me the character that you want to see most that we didn't pull from this week's unboxing series. Please let me know, and I will mix it up with you guys down in the comments below. Remember uh, to leave a like if you love the, the series. It definitely helps uh, keep people notified of all this thing. S subscribe to WizKids, uh, you know, the algorithm, the whole thing, boom, boom, boom. Uh, but we can keep doing these videos forever and ever, uh, hopefully, and uh, those things all help. So comment, like, subscribe, etc., etc. I don't love saying that all the time, but at the end of the week, especially after the day we had, I'm going to toss it out there. Thank you to WizKids for sharing all of this goodness with all of you, not just with me. Uh, uh, thank you to WizKids for trusting me to share this with you guys. I think this was such a cool treat. It was like Christmas morning. Uh, keep your expectations in line when you're out there at your local comic shops or gaming stores. God packs are super, 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 super rare. Uh, but I guess they're out there in the wild now. So that's something to get excited about for sure. I know I am. Um, that being said, thank you also to Hyper RPG Studios for letting us uh, come here and use the space to share this Awesome hero clicks goodness with all of you. Uh, thank you to Knox, who's running the board today. Everybody give him a round of applause out there. Uh, he crushed it. And uh, last but not least, thank you to you guys for watching, for tuning in every single time. Uh, the set comes out sometime in May, pre-release, maybe late April. I don't know. But uh, I do know when it comes out, I will see you guys out there. I'm going to physically be out there playing this set. That's how good it is. I can't wait to see you guys out there on the hero clicks battlefield. And I can't wait to see you for the next unboxing series that we have. But in the meantime, enjoy Disney+. Plus. And until the next time I see you, may all your roles be critical hits. Peace.